Hello everyone, it's Vector Action. We're going to know a Transformers review. This is Transformers G1 Micromaster Skyhopper, a Micromaster base, one of two Decepticon Micromaster bases, released by Hasbro in 1989. The other one being Skystalker, who is actually a space shuttle, but the actual Micromaster comes with Skystalker. Either way, it's called Micromaster Skystalker. Same goes for this. Even though it's called Micromaster Skyhopper, it's actually the Micromaster that's called Skyhopper. The actual base, I believe, doesn't have a name other than just the helicopter base, which is interesting, but yeah, that base doesn't really have a proper name, but. Anyway, here it is. This is the second review I'm doing of a Vintage Spawn Toy Fair 21st July 2024 pickup. And I'm really, I was really pleased to finally get Skyhopper. I've been after this for a long time. It's one of my favourite Micromaster playsets and I really enjoyed having it. And really, yeah, really pleased to finally have this. It's actually the first Micromaster Decepticon base I have as well. I have the Cannon Transport and the Grease Pit, uh, the Battle Station, but I didn't actually have any of the Micromaster, I didn't have any of the actual bases so, for the Decepticons, so that's pretty cool. I can finally build a Decepticon Micromaster City now, which I did start that, and I'm actually going to do that in the video as well, which is why I've got Grease Pit here. But yeah, so. It's a helicopter, and this is fantastic. Absolutely, it's a fantastic helicopter. I absolutely love this. I've got this front gun here. That's what it's called. In the instructions. Quite surprised it doesn't have a more technical name, but there we go. It's just called the front gun. We're keeping it simple on this one. And it rotates and everything. Points in the directions. Really cool. I love how it looks on the front there. Great front profile. Looks great. You've got these rotor blades which spin. And you've got the back one that spins, and the back row that spins, it's really cool stuff all around. A nice big Decepticon scene at the front there, pretty cool, it's a sticker, it looks pretty good. And you've got some stickers for the cockpit, which are in slightly worse shape, but not too bad. Some really nice smaller detail there, you've got these guns on the side, which looks really cool, I really like how they look. You've got this thing at the back here, I'm not quite sure what it is, it's either shooting down at people, or maybe it's a magnet or something, not entirely sure, but... This will come into play later, but it looks, it looks okay. And then this rotor blade here, again, just, I can just imagine this swooshing this around. And it does tend to fall out quite easily, so does the gun on the front, if you're not careful. But you can just imagine this, I'm just gonna try and do this, so you can try and knock it off. But yeah, you can imagine this flying in, and shooting that front gun and everything like that, just swooshing it around. It's really cool, I love it. it looks fantastic. So you can do that. Yeah, awesome stuff, really cool. And there's the Skyhopper at the front, that looks pretty cool as well. And the cop. Yeah, the detail around it just looks amazing. And I love these guns at the side here. You can like move these around, but I quite like them just how they are. And there's even a post at the top here, so you can take this off and put it at the front here. No, you're not supposed to. It's supposed to go at the front, like so. It's just pegged on. And this could probably easily fall off. But you know, it looks pretty cool, I love it. And because of the way it pegged on, you can just move it around and have it point in different directions. So that's always cool. And it's just great. Those are playability to this. It just looks fantastic. And what a great mode. And it's really cool once you transform as well, but we'll get to that in a moment. And there. Excuse me. We have the copyright there, 1989 has been. There you have it. One last, just going to set it down quickly and see what the landing skid is. Yeah, this does fall off sometimes, but it easily goes back on. And I can I sometimes point it down so it doesn't fall off. Because then it actually rests on the ground with the landing skids. That just looks fantastic. I just love the spinning those, really cool. So that is the helicopter. It looks great from all angles. Some really nice detail on the engines and everything. It looks great, fantastic. And now to get to the Micromaster, it's got a nice sticker detail on there. And this is the actual Micromaster Skyhopper. Here he is. It's got a nice dark grey, dark green, and purple colour scheme going on for him. And being that he comes with the Micromaster base, he's actually got stickers, which is quite nice. He's got a great head sculpt. Unfortunately, he's got a screw showing, but it's not too bad. All the Micromasters have that. As for the articulation, all you're getting is at the arms there, but it looks good. And let's just zoom in on the heads again. It's got like a cool visor going on, I quite like that, it's pretty cool. Oh, I mean, 
Everyone's face is all one colour though, but it's not too bad. Uh, so the transformer, what am I going to do? I mean, the legs are kind of stuck together. But, you know, they, they can move a little bit, but not much, really. But overall, it's a really cool looking Micro Master. I believe it is a redeco of Stormcloud out of the Airstrike Patrol. So the transformer, what I'm going to do is going to fold the arms down, fold over the nose cone, bring this whole section up, and collapse it. Then bring down these parts from the wings, and they have Skyhopper in jet mode. Again, some really nice Decepticon stickers there, really nice Decepticon signal there. I really like how all the MicroMasters that come with the bases actually have stickers. It really adds to them. I mean, you know, you've got Ground Shaker, Countdown, Skystalker, and this guy. They all have stickers. The MicroMaster combined bases, don't they? Like Battlefield Headquarters and anti aircraft base. But really, really cool how they come with the stickers with these ones. It does add a lot to it. It's really cool. And there's a nice sticker detail on there. And we've got you know, paint on the some nice paint. You know, they're painting the cockpit purple as well. And there's some nice moulding on the jet mode itself. Got the landing gear there. Just it's a great looking jet. Very cool looking like master. Right, so. But I'm actually going to transform back to robot mode now because I want to do a bit of a funny size comparison really, just for a laugh. So, here is Skyhopper with another one of my Vintage Born Toy Fair 21st July 2024 pickups. <laughs> Robots in the Sky's Dreadwind. This was actually the first guy I looked at from, yeah, from that haul. I couldn't resist it. I was so pleased to pick this up. Mm. I've been wanting to get a G2 Dreadwing, Dreadwing mold for ages, version of that mold, and I couldn't resist it. That night, that night, when I, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that night, when I came back from the toy fair and everything, I immediately transformed this guy, transformed into all three modes, and had a blast. It's a really cool figure. Uh, they do something in common, though, as you can see, this guy's a bit loose with his legs. And this guy has a tendency to fall over as well. He's quite back heavy or top heavy, one of the two. And just by design, I knew that anyway before I picked him up. But yep, that's just quite a fun <laughs> size comparison there. I'm not sure if I'll be doing V on Dreadwind. Some parts of the transformation were quite scary. Uh, these parts here, I don't really want to mess with too much. So, clip to 75 actually broke one of his on G2 Dreadwind. This is just a fantastic figure. And I do have smoke screen as well. Oh, yeah, uh, unlocking the arms. If you know what that figure's like, you, know, you have to untap. You have to, you know, un disconnect the arm. You have to um, pull the arms up in the stealth bomber mode. And uh, I felt like it was going to break there. Yeah, so did this guy, to be honest. As we'll come to that moment. And there he is with smokescreen. Really cool figures. These ones. Really pleased with. Them. Another one of my favourite pickups on this guy. Right, anyway, so that's it for that. And now the transform Skyhopper. So let's remove the, all the weapons. You don't actually, have, you actually, you can actually leave this on, so you don't have to take it off, which is always good. And this comes off like so. And now what we do? We're going to split it at the front there, bringing some missile pods, which looks pretty nice. I like that. Then you split it again. This part comes down like so. And what you want to do next? is you want to fold these parts over. This is where the ramps are going to connect. So it just helps extend it out a bit better. And then come in here and remove the figure stand, which is what Scott, which is what we use to keep Skyhopper in there when it was flying around so it doesn't fall out. And then this is the scary bit here. Which when I first did it, a bit like Dreadwind, it was very scary. I haven't transformed them twice yet. I've only transformed them once, but the more I've transformed this, it has loosened up. I loosened up after the first time I transformed it. As you can hear, it's quite tight in there. What you want to do, if I'm not sure, let's just show that again. Unfortunately, this part's just fallen off, which is a bit annoying. It's a bit loose on there as well. Right, let's do that again. So, what I want to do this part, this is definitely the worst part of the transformation, is you want to push down it like so, so it folds all the way up. And again, when I first did it, I thought I was going to break. It's not very nice at all, but it's loosened up. And then you fold those parts out like so. And then finally, you do is you rotate this around so it's facing forward. And put it in that position, and that is the basic base done. So now you've got to add all the accessories. So, first off, let's take the figure stand 
And there's a post here that's going to go into that port, like so. And that just connects on to like, that just connects on like that. It kind of blocks the ramp a little bit, but not too bad. And then what you want to do is you want to take these guns. The weird thing about these guns is they're hollow on this side. I mean, normally they're probably attached like that. The weird thing is you're going to attach them this way then. They don't stay in there particularly well, but it's okay. Yeah, they can do tend to fall out, but anyway, so you just attach them there like so. I found there is a way to keep them in. Yeah, these guns don't always want to stay in place. But there you go, so there's the guns there. And then what I like to do with this gun is I like to put it here. So actually I think I'm gonna remove this. the pictures in the box has it there as well and then I just kind of balance this on top like so you have the gun there you can put it there as well Ooh. and finally you take the rotor blade and you put it in that post which had no use earlier and there you have it oh no one last thing I've got the ramps it comes with three ramps two look you know, don't connect to any other bases, and one that will connect to another base or another playset. So, you want to put that one at the front. But the two that don't go anywhere, well, the two that can't connect to anything, you just attach them to these extended parts. Right, so they just clip on like that. And with this one, you want to put it at the front here. And now this will link up to other MicroMaster bases, or MicroMaster playsets, I mean, as I'll demonstrate in a moment. And that is my Master Skyhopper in base mode. Well, that, that's well, that's the, you know that's Skyhopper in base mode. Isn't it? Well, really, it's the helicopter in base mode. Looks fantastic. This is one of my favourite my Master playsets. Mm. Yep, definitely worth, definitely worth the wait. Yeah, definitely lived up to it. Definitely lived up to the hype. And, Anything like that. It's just it's so cool. There's so much going on. It looks fantastic. What you can do is you can attach the sky up a bit. Now, because mine's kind of loose, it doesn't always stay in there particularly well. Maybe the ledge one is a bit loose. But, you know, you can have them there, like so. I'm just going to give you a tour of the base. So, you've got like, these missile pods at the front here, which looks really cool. I love the sticker there. You've got these guns on the side. You've got the giant radar dish. Just looks fantastic. I, just, I can't get over how good this looks. It's just amazing. It's a really cool place set. It just looks great. Definitely one of the best ones. And then what you can do is you've got I've got a grease bit here, and as you can see, there's a connector there. Actually, no, it doesn't, doesn't go there. Yeah, it does go there. Now, this ramp tends to fall off. Normally, it's actually on there quite tightly. I think really. Yeah, it takes a bit of, it takes a bit to take it off so not normally normally it's quite a pain to take off but this time it just fell off and then it's got on it. And then what we do we can connect this up like so as you can see it's quite tightly on there really this guy should be in this vehicle mode but now you can start building up and creating a massive micromaster city as you can see there that's what it looks like attached to one of the battle stations in fact, what we can do is we can connect it. You can see it is quite tightly connected on there. What we can do is we can swap around which way the ramp connects. So you can have it go here instead. I haven't done that yet, that was pretty cool. Though this looks a bit strange now. And I would transform this guy, but he's a bit of a pain as well. These leg joints are really stiff. But I'm going to do it for the video so I can have two vehicle modes. Bear with me one second. Yeah, this guy just got. Jesus. There we go. That sounds really good, but let's go in. So, we now have Grease Spit in this 4x4 mode. 
lost the truck mode in it. And then you can roll along with everything like that. What I like to do is I like to take Skyhopper here. I like to use this as like a runway sort of thing. So I like to take him back to jet mode. I thought this looks quite cool, having him parked there, so you can have him take off. Oh, that's pretty fun, I like that. I kind of wish I had more Micromasters down to uh... I haven't bought... Yeah, these are the only two I have down here at the moment. But you could really take this to the next level if you've got absolutely loads of them. Like I've got the racetrack patrol upstairs and I've got loads of the Micromasters. Got the cannon transport, like I said, which I could probably use to connect this up, but I need more ramps that would connect. So I have to take one off Ground Shaker, something like that. I'll use the cannon transport as one actually, because that, that would match up with the purple. By the way, you can see what's going to happen here. You can keep building it out and just keep connecting up all these playsets and creating a huge Micromaster City, and it looks really cool. I can't wait to do that. One day I'll definitely have to do that. And now I have a Micromaster Decepticon base. I can do that. Because I don't know about you, but connecting up with Micromaster Orbot and Decepticon bases doesn't really make a lot of sense. Because they'll just be constantly attacking each other, but there we go. But in all the adverts and stuff, they have them all connected up. Which is quite ironic, quite funny, really. It does look pretty impressive, though, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. But yeah, one day I'll definitely have to do a video where I connect up all these bases. So that would be really cool. Right, I think that's it. Actually, it's really cool. I don't know, should I leave it like that? You can have like the microphones coming up here. Have them driving down there. Driving up there. Then you can have him, but these are Decepticon as well, you can have him like, using the cannons. They've got to transform him back now, which is a bit annoying. I think I'm going to leave him in robot mode, to be honest with you. If he wasn't so stiff, I mean, it's good in a way because Skyhopper is quite loose. This guy has no issue with falling over. I mean, it's just, it feels like it's going to break, but there we go. Yeah, anyway, right, so that's him in the robot mode. And now what you can do, you have him shooting those, you can have him operating the gun there. And shooting down some Autobots. Pretty cool stuff. This gun can rotate around as well. I guess it's like automated or something. Or something like that. No one can really operate it from up there. Or what you can do is you can take it off and put it here. Bit low though for anyone to really use it. Yeah, you can't really have a Micromaster standing using it, it's just gonna have to be operating on, on its own. Yeah, that looks pretty cool though, I like that. Oh, I like that, that's pretty neat. Problem is running out of space, but there we go. Um, take Skyhopper back to robot mode and he can. If he stands up, he can shoot, he can use the other gun. So you can have one standing here. Yeah, it's this bit. bit annoying. Grab him there. That looks pretty cool. And then you're going to boost it there. And there you have it. Now you have someone operating both guns at the front. Right, I think I'll leave it there. This has been Retroaction with Transforms G1 Micromaster Sky, but I definitely recommend getting this. It's a fantastic playset. It's just amazing. There's so much going on. There's so much play features. And it's, it's just, it just looks really cool. I mean, you've got this great big radar dish. You know, I'm trying to get it connected once you take the gun off is a bit of a pain, though. I mean, you can just have it like this as well. And that doesn't look too bad either. That looks pretty cool. There's, there's even a post here, I'm not totally sure what that's for. Oh, that's for the gun stand, the, the, the figure stand, even when it's meant. It's for this and the helicopter mode, that's where it goes. You know what? Let's just put that on the, like that. And then attach this back on. Yeah, it's great in helicopter mode, it's great in base mode. 
overall it's a win it's an absolutely fantastic playset and one of the best micro master playsets in my opinion can't go wrong with this one it is, it is amazing right it's for retro action thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye for now